Hey guys, today I'm going to take you through the creation of this piece of mine, Silmarillion themed by Tolkien of Ulmo rescuing Elwing. Um, I start as always with my line art printed out on watercolor paper and uh, it's stretched into my uh, paper stretcher. I begin by wetting everything evenly with a huge brush and the figure and the fish are masked with masking fluid, as you can see here, where uh, the colour just peels away from them. So this is the first layers of blue with a bit of brownish sprinkled in to keep it from becoming too bright. A bit of wavy stuff still into the wet water colour. bit more here and there and now I'm rubbing off very carefully the masking fluid after everything's completely dry and paint a very very light bluish wash over everything to just tie it in a bit more. After that is dry I can start to very gently build up my layers of blues and turquoises and greens. I'm already uh, leaving out the hands a bit here and now I'm beginning to very carefully detail the face. I took it very slowly here with every um, bit of the painting to make sure that nothing um, was too, too defined and trying to make sure everything was very much in the background. I didn't want Ulmo the sea god to stand out too much against the front figure. Here I'm beginning to detail a couple of waves here and there. A bit lighter here, a bit darker there. Starting to add slightly darker darks. Those eyes were too bright, too dark, so I just dab them off again. Loads and loads of wavy stuff going on here. Detailing the hands, but again, not too much. And adding a bit more darks. Now detailing the eyes. Going in a bit more boldly with some darker darks, defining the waves, the hair. This is one of my favourite parts when doing wavy stuff, going in, in just certain bits of the painting and adding sort of negative space by painting uh, around white wave crests or anything else that is going to be white in the end. In this place and then back there in the corner and again in his hair. All of this will add a lot of motion to the piece so I want it to feel extremely wavy and in motion. I'm starting to detail the barnacles, adding a bit of detail here, but I found out very soon that they took too much center stage, so I then, as you can see, got rid of some of the detail again just to make sure they didn't dominate the piece too much. Detailing the figure and putting some yellow in the fish to make them stand out a lot. And a bit more detail there. Now I'm, I'm defining the forms with some colored pencil just to make sure the forms are crisp. Starting to uh, pick out a couple of folds in her dress with a very, very fine watercolor brush.
and in her hair and wings. I then uh, use another coloured pencil, brown this time, to detail some aspects and features of her face and hair. And one of the final bits is adding gouache to highlight some of the bits that got painted over along the road some white in the hair, the feathers. And now the piece is finished. If you like, check out my Patreon. You can see live streams there, where I stream paintings like these and loads of other cool stuff. And hope to see you around. Bye.